This year at the NAB show, we decided to take a look at the largest APM multi-copter manufacturers in the market. First stop, 3D Robotics. 3DR has the largest showroom featuring the new solo quadcopter. It comes included with a simulator. Even this clever little monkey can learn to fly too. The Solo has a 1 GHz Cortex A9 processor running on a Linux platform. Our very own Leo Yang from Drone Mission was given the personal tour by Chris Anderson himself, CEO of 3DR, along with Robert Lowe, CEO of Wakira, IUAS. Friends from Alcara, ah. our platform partners. Oh, okay. Uh, so they make a fantastic Scout platform and uh, a bunch of others, another major Chinese manufacturer using the um, APM code. So I'll show you the. Uh, uh, okay, so that's an easy one. That's just a path uh, finding. Um, where you just draw a line, or you can. Uh, any any shape, whatever, spline curve, etc. But then it gets where it gets interesting is, and this is just the uh, sending the HD all the way through the vehicle over the wireless link. Um, saving on the phone is the important part. Um, having the ability to control the GoPro remotely, so you can start, stop, turn it on and off. That's that's uh, that's not been possible before with the GoPro. We have access to the Bus in the background. Um, so that's, uh, if you like your GoPro, this is, this is the way to go. Mr. Anderson explains that 3DR has gone all Wi-Fi and being able to record in HD in real time is a major achievement. So these things are selfie, cam, cam and orbit are, are, color, are all really hard shots to do. So what you do is you just define a, that's orbit mode, where you just say orbit around this point. And now when you move your right stick, it just goes in a circle around it. Um, that's a hard shot to fly because it keeps the, yeah, the camera, the nose pointed in, the gimbal focused on it. You can set the obvious uh, those parameters. That's a selfie where it goes out. I'm keeping the camera on you, and then comes back and I'll be back down. Press the button. Fly to another point with a totally different orientation. Press the button again, and I've created a virtual cable in the sky, and the vehicle will re repeat that path. You can't when you move the stick or pretty either one button, so it'll just follow that same arc every time, exactly at the same pace. That way you get repeatability and also a shot that you can't do with your hands. The nice thing about it is that now you don't have to fly. Next stop at the Intelligent Unmanned Aircraft Systems of Wakira. Wakira debuted the Voyager 3 APM Hexacopter at the NAB show, planned to be released later this year. The sportish looking hexacopter with six propellers will carry dual GPS system for failover. By leveraging both American GPS Global Positioning System and Russian Global Navigation Satellite System. It will allow for model aircrafts to overcome GPS glitches. Wakira, known to make excellent radio transmitters over the last seven years, took the opportunity to showcase their new sports edition of the Devo F12E, complementing the X350 Premium. The F-12E is a professional 12-channel radio transmitter that comes with a composite video baseband signal port. Wakira left us with a preview of their latest technology, the Intelligent Recovery System, that will be implemented on all future hexacopters.
Last stop, a visit to the new contender, Unique and the Q500 Typhoon. Unique is not new to aviation. In fact, they made full-size planes marketed as Greenwing International in China. The Q500 is another APM quadcopter. It comes equipped with an Android base 10-channel radio transmitter. All models featured here today are capable of multiple flight modes. Visit dronecode.org for more details where 3DR, Wakira IUAS and Unique are among the many companies leveraging the same resources under the stewardship of the Linux Foundation. Definitely, we're doing some really high speed flying here.